So thank you, Dr. Geisa, for this interview. You presented an analysis on the different strategies for anal cancer screening that definitely it's something that we need to expand. So what are your recommendations for low and middle income settings for setting up an anal cancer screening program? Well, that's a very multi-layered question. Um, I'm not sure there's a straight and simple answer. Um, I think first you need to have diagnostic capacity to be able to uh, have the technical expertise to diagnose precancerous lesions. So you need somebody trained in high resolution endoscopy. The lowest hanging fruit is probably um, gynecologists um, who already know how to do colposcopy, so they're kind of familiar with the process, although there's a steep learning curve uh, with high resolution endoscopy. Colorectal surgeons also come to mind that have an interest in proctologic procedures. Then you would need a, uh, a pathologist who is interested in uh, taking on these cases, who is able to read the pathologic samples. Uh, we traditionally in the US have been trying to collaborate with the gynecologic pathologists because they have the most experience in um, HPV-related lesions, uh, and that's been working excellently. Uh, I'm not sure how other low-middle-income countries, um, how their pathology landscape is structured. Um, obviously, they are not as subspecialized, and there's more of a general pathologist, uh, then you'll have to make do <laughs> with but that. But probably that's a good place to start. So Right, so yeah. then if once you have that infrastructure and you have the, the capacity to actually um, uh, uh, perform high resolution endoscopy, then you can start screening, right? I don't think it makes much sense to generate abnormal test results, whether you use cytology or HPV testing, if you don't have a way to follow up on them. Um, then you just generate an abnormal test result and a lot of anxiety um, and uh, have no means to uh, meaningfully intervene. The lowest uh, tier really of anal cancer prevention is a digital rectal exam. Everybody can do it. Um, we don't uh, do it enough probably, at least annually. Um, and you'll be able to uh, palpate uh, early cancers. You won't likely be able to uh, palpate uh, precancerous lesions because they're too subtle. Um, but that's kind of the first um, step. Uh, if you have at least anoscopic capabilities, we're not talking about high resolution endoscopy with high magnification, but at least a colorectal uh, surgeon is usually able to insert an anoscope with, without much magnification. Um, that will be the next step. Uh, the use of acetic acid can be helpful even in that setting, right? Um, and a colorectal surgeon should be able to take samples of areas that are suspicious. But it takes obviously a little bit of expertise and um, training to be able to identify um, the more subtle patterns. And that won't be possible to, the subtleties won't, you won't be able to see without um, an operative microscope, a colposcope, like some form of mag magnification. Um, so I think you've made a great point saying their digital rectal exam is something that almost everyone had a finger yes. so it's something that we need to expand and then there's a lot of a long way of capacity building at the different sites right on on different disciplines if you're by yourself um, i think uh, the digital rectal exam is the way to go initially um, bear in mind that anal cancer if detected at an early stage has an excellent um, prognosis morbidity is still high so we want to uh, prevent it absolutely um, and if you have uh, built some infrastructure to be able to uh, ramp up screening, then uh, you know I would start with cytology first. And if you then have the capacity to add HPV testing into the mix, like what I presented, it can really help um, risk stratify who should be prioritized for an HRA. HPV testing really uh, increases specificity. So ultimately it will reduce the um, necessary amount of uh, diagnostic procedures you know to set it up and yeah. uh, the PCR test obviously is expensive but um, it will depend on how expensive the, the HRA procedure is right if you have a hundred endoscopists and then they know how to do, do a good job 
Yeah. Um, you may not need HPV testing. And if the HRAs themselves are, are cheap to do, to perform, then you may not need to narrow it down. But still, there's a long way, I there's think. A, so. Yeah, there are many variables. Yes. Okay, so thank you very much. And hopefully we'll have more and more information with studies as yours to right. see which is the best way to implement anal cancer screening in different settings. Thank you very much.